Uh, I'm a proud mother of a child with SCPS and a graduate, and I'm a transgender woman. I'm 34 years old. I've been doing this for a decade. You call that a phase? I am the gender ideology. Here I stand. We are many. We are many. Board members, restore the censored pages of your LGBT students to their yearbook. Make this right. Calling us groomers is a historical blood libel that leads to pogroms of minorities. To kids and parents everywhere, I'll show you exactly how to stop this. Extremist groups are lying to you here about trans people being too mentally incompetent to know our own genders. And they were lying about us when they said that being trans is a contagion we're spreading to other people. That's genocidal rhetoric. Who is responsible? The Christian Nationalist Legal Group, Alliance Defending Freedom, just ordered those talking points as a legal argument from a hate group in Gainesville called the American College of Pediatricians. They are a fake group. They are not the American Academy of Pediatrics. They are not mainstream. They are about 100 people, about 12 core members. The Alliance Defending Freedom ordered those talking points. The talking points came first. The evidence was an afterthought, just like big tobacco hiring experts to manufacture doubt that smoking causes cancer. Go read the Southern Poverty Law Center today. Go read FloridaBan.com today to see their actual documents we uploaded, where they planned and workshop these anti-trans talking points themselves. This ends now. I want these queer and trans kids busting open these conspiracies against their lives in the pages of that yearbook. That's journalism. You're only coping with the fallout of this because a governor who's faced allegations of committing acts of torture against detainees at Guantanamo, who were later freed. That's not political, that's the Geneva Convention. Torture is a war crime. Time has